Well, you know, it occurs to me both of you are the products of musical families. So let's start out by talking about your background. In, in your case, Hillary, that both your parents were musicians. Your mother sang with uh, Reba McIntyre. Your father played in the band. How has that affected you as an adult? What do you remember most about it? What didn't you like about it? And what do you now carry with, within you as a result of that? Wow. Um, I would say what I've carried in to adulthood is, well, first of all, a little backstory. I mean, I grew up, both my parents, exactly like you said, in the music business, but I lived on a tour bus for quite a few years in my childhood. I remember I was um, homeschooled for kindergarten and first grade. And so I slept in a bunk and would watch school on videotape in the front lounge of the bus. So it was a pretty unconventional way to grow up. Um, but I grew up backstage and really comfortable around the country music world, the entertainment industry. And so the apple didn't fall far for sure when, you know, when I really started thinking about and, and truthfully praying about what I wanted to do with my life. And so music was just such a gift um, to our family and I just felt like I want to use my voice and I you know I want to do this for a living and so as um, an adult now I would say it definitely has impacted the way that um, I parent um, I'm very thankful that you know my little girls I'm in a position to where they can come along on the road with me I mean so much of my youth um, my grandparents my daddy's parents um, took care of me when my parents would travel. So to not be in that position, I have a, a huge heart for our bandmates, um, my band guys who leave their families at home, you know, when we're touring. Um, I get to bring my girls along a lot of the time. And so that's a huge gift. Um, and just wanting to be present for them as much as I can, um, even when I, I am traveling. Well, I have this picture of you as a little girl on, on the bus. And as you said, you spent quite a bit of time was there any sense of loneliness? I mean, you're a child in the world of adults. Did you feel lonely at some times? I definitely did. I mean, I was an only child for 14 years. So when I turned 14, my parents gave me the surprising news that I was going to be a big sister. And I have a little sister. She's 20 now, um, which has just been the most incredible gift that we all were shocked to find out about. <laughs> um, and so definite loneliness. I mean, I, I grew up pretty quickly, you know, um, but I have to say with as, as busy as my mom and dad were and with as much of our life that the road and the music business took up, um, I never felt um, unloved. I always felt unconditionally loved and supported. Um, lonely at times for sure, but, but always loved. Yeah. Well, Chris, in your case, both your parents have, what, master's degrees in musical education. Yes. So yours was a completely different bringing up. What did you take from that that you carry forward to today? What did you learn during that period? Yes, they were educators at, at first, and then uh, they always were volunteering in church and, and helping lead worship in church. So that was the biggest piece of me was doing, mom would do some music classes and in the community library a lot when we were kids. So I grew up doing that. and percussion instruments and xylophones and stuff like that. And then on the weekends, we'd be in church. And once I got to be eight or nine, I started to play drums with mom and dad in church. Um, mom was piano and dad's guitar, so we kind of were the, the trio for that. Um, and then as I got older, it just kind of it continued. I, on a different sense, I never had the touring experience. I, that was brand new for me to figure out in adulthood. <laughs> Um, it was very different. I was starting from scratch with that, but it's such a sanity and a grounding source of peace for me to be in our house and be able to just play something on piano or play press play on a record. And I think that's what I've taken, especially now in parenting, is I just want to, regardless of if our girls ever do anything musically professionally, I've, I'm so excited to keep pouring in music as a source of just how to navigate your emotions and how to, how to make sense of how you're feeling, no matter what you're feeling. So yeah. that's definitely the biggest piece I've, I've clung to over the years.